Hi Aquarius, my is sign Aquarius. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome back to my channel gang. So I'm just going to do a go with the flow type of reading, okay? If I do need to clarify, I will. Take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest because this is general for the collective Aquarius. So these messages may or may not resonate with you. So don't make it fit if it does not stick to your story, okay? Please take whatever resonate with you and leave the rest. So we're going to be getting into this reading, you guys, okay, and seeing what's going on, what's coming towards y'all, what's going to happen, what to expect. Let's see, what can Aquarius expect? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get into this reading, shall we? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords. This is your energy. Are you running away from someone? Or are you trying to get out of a connection? Trying to escape? Trying to get away? Or is there some trust issues here between you and this person? Because I'm seeing that someone very sneaky is in your energy. Okay, there could be a thief in your energy. Or this person could be someone who's a liar. Who's deceptive, who's manipulative, who's doing things behind your back that they don't want you to know about, who has underhanded energy. Okay, they think they can pull the wool over your eyes here. They think they're smarter than you when it comes to this, this sneakiness. And I feel like you don't trust this person. However, I do feel like this person's intentions is to stalk you. So someone is stalking the hell out of you or you're stalking someone else here. Okay, and I do see that someone is holding on to you, holding on for dear life. They're not wanting to let you go. They're stalking and they're spying, like heavy stalking. Okay, this is someone that you met while traveling or met online here. Okay, or this could be this person wanting to travel towards you or you're traveling towards them. However, I do see messages or messages going back and forth between the two of you. Okay, yeah, I feel like this person wants to talk to you after betrayal okay this person is bitter with the ten of swords they're bitchy bad mouth you okay this person may be trying to love bomb you or you're doing this to someone else okay this person you know they just betrayed you broke the trust and i feel like with the ten of swords it's done you're over it's over with you're done with this person and you're moving forward i do feel like you're overcoming these obstacles with a chariot okay there's cancer energy here and i also see you guys are traveling you may be moving to a different city state country or a town or you could just be going on a trip or vacation okay but i am seeing like i said I'm seeing success and I'm seeing you overcoming these obstacles here. All right. And I am seeing healing here with the temperance card. Now, I do feel like somebody was stringing you along with this temperance card. And it could be a Sagittarius who you're connected to. So, I do feel like you guys may have taken this person to court. Or you may have a court or legal situation coming up. It could be a court date. Or it could be that... Um, you're just calling for karmic justice. You want this person to get exactly what they deserve here, okay? And this may be a divorce. This may be child support, alimony. This is something here, um, a legal situation. But I feel like it's going to go in your favor. And you guys, you know, you feel like you're just better off without this person or without these people here. Like I said, this could be a sibling, a family member, a friend, a lover. You feel like you're just better off without these people or this person. And I feel like you guys are single, stable, independent. If, um, you know, you guys have your own shit. You guys have your own money, your own car, your own crib, or you will. You know, and I feel like you're very independent and you're not codependent in this relationship here. However, I do feel like, you know, you're not feeling this person. You're not attracted to this person. You don't want to be bothered. You don't want to deal with this person okay this person maybe they get bored very easily in connections here or you're just bored with this person's offers or you're just bored with this person or it could be this is like a missed opportunity you know i feel like their offer of love is being rejected here 
okay because of the seven of swords showing up this person is very sneaky malicious they know what they're doing and i feel like they ass gonna be left out in the cold with the five of pentacles this is someone that you want a commitment with or you are in a committed relationship with them or you're married to this person. But I feel like they deceived you. There was some deception here. Could have been about commitment, marriage. Maybe they lied to you about them being married or maybe maybe they lied about commitment, wanting commitment. Yeah, this person with the five of swords, they just play a lot of head games and mind games here. All right. Mm. But I'm seeing you got everything all figured out. I'm seeing that you're saving up all the money that you have here. And you're being greedy and stingy and keeping your coins close to your chest. Because you're investing into your stocks, bonds, or bank account. You know, and I feel like um, it could be because you're traveling. Or it could be that you're um, getting ready for a big purchase like a new home, a new car, or a retirement. But I do see travel and fast movement. You're being hasty and this is coming in pretty, pretty, pretty quickly for you. I'm also seeing with this Ten of Swords here, yeah. I feel like this was a very painful ending, but I'm seeing you moving forward. Or maybe something happened to your car here. Maybe you're needing to get a new car, you want a new car, or you're going to fix your car, or whatever. But I'm, I'm seeing here that, you know, there's healing and tranquility, okay? I do see a soulmate connection. I'm also seeing that there's some balance here, okay? And I do see you doing things in moderation. I do see things um, being done in your favor. However, I, I also see this person wanting to do things right by you, wanting to bring balance into this connection here, okay? But I feel like you're good. You're like, no, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm good on my own here because the Nine of Pentacles and the four of cups so i feel like you're good without this person you're just living your best life and this was a missed opportunity and this person is very upset about it okay now i feel like this person is younger than you or you're younger than them or you're around the same age okay why is the page of swords here two of swords you may have blocked this person some of y'all did block this person okay or you're closed off and blocked off to this person who was stalking you. This person could be torn between two relationships here, okay? Or somebody's needing to face their fears. But I feel like you guys don't even know this person is stalking you with the two of swords. You, you don't know. Yeah, you don't see this coming. I also feel like this person is, you know, very indecisive. They can't make a decision. They It's like they find decisions very difficult to make or painful choices they have to make okay but i am seeing them very indecisive right here about something okay why is the four of pentacles here for aquarius you could be connected to an aries okay yeah you're saving money and i do see unexpected income this could be coming in from like the government or a family member or a friend or someone giving you money, okay, or helping you with something. But this is unexpected income right here coming into. Could be connected to an Aries. Yeah. What's the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, the world. There is travel here. You're traveling at a distance, at a distance, okay, from a fire sign or, uh, yeah, you may have fire in your chart. I do see you being in charge, making decisions, independent, okay? I do see optimism here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? You may have dealt with somebody who wanted to have their cake and eat it too, or that's you. That was you doing this to this person, and it caused a betrayal here between you and them. Yeah, somebody betrayed you. I feel like this is somebody who you were married to or in a committed relationship with. Okay. They may have betrayed you upon like marriage or commitment. But I see you're very traditional. You believe in the traditions of home, family, and marriage. Or is this person? Yeah, you're done with this person. It's over. Mm -hmm. chariot you're moving forward you're making a break for it you're escaping you're running away from something or someone 
but I am seeing you moving forward and I am seeing that this person is very sneaky you're overcoming these obstacles with this person this person put a lot of obstacles in your way they're an enemy masquerading as a friend this person is very deceitful this person is a liar very trickery this person is a cheater they're dishonest they feel like they can outsmart everybody they're very sneaky and they're a thief they may have stolen from you um they may have stole your car or snuck off with your car or they may have stolen something from you and like took off or something like that. Why well, is temperance here for Aquarius? Yeah, you're healing from this person who wanted you to be defeated. This person was stringing you along in this connection and you're walking away from this person. Okay, or you've walked away from them already. Okay, this person that self sabotages the connection. They have self sabotaging behavior. They sabotage it. They play mind games and head games right here. Very aggressive, very abusive. Whether this is um, emotionally, uh, verbally, physically, or whatever. This person is a bully. They're very violent. They are criminal. Okay, somebody may have been R-A-P-E. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. But I feel like this person, they just they wanted you to be defeated. They were playing mind games and head games with you. And I feel like they just wanted to win. They may want to reconcile with you, but they want to win you over at all costs. And they may be lying to you. They may be lying to you about wanting to balance things out with you or wanting to... With the justice that may be even going down to the justice of peace. But you may be married to this person already. But I feel like they just have some underhanded behavior. They feel like they can outsmart you. Yeah, the moon card. There's a lot of secrets. This person kept a lot of secrets from you. They kept a lot of things hidden from you. They kept you in the dark about a lot of things. This person caused a lot of deception. A lot of anxiety for someone. A lot of fear in someone. Okay. I do see someone is insecure. And someone was uh, like, there was an illusion. Yeah, someone was playing games, mind games, head games. There was an illusion here. This person was keeping secrets, wanting you in their web of lies to keep you in their web of lies and keep going in circles with you with the wheel of fortune. But I'm seeing your luck and fortune changing for you and I see things balancing out for you, balance being brought back into your life here. Yeah. Eight of Wands, you're taking action. You could be taking somebody to court right here or you're just traveling. This is fast movement, speed, progress. Yeah, somebody's trying to come in and want to do things right by you. But with the Eight of Wands, they may be wanting to move things along pretty quickly in the connection. Or this is you wanting to move pretty fast in the connection. Um, this person may be trying to love bomb you. Okay, trying to love bomb you and move things along pretty quickly here with you. Mm. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, I just feel like you're celebrating or you're going to celebrate or you have something to celebrate or you're being celebrated. Just give me friends and family that's celebrating your independence, your stability, you know. Or I just feel like you're just happy. You know, this could be that you're just happy. You guys may be having some reunions here, reconnecting with family and friends here, celebrating. This could be a party you're going to or you're just socializing with a lot of people. You may be going to a gathering or overindulging. This could be a festival or like a lot of festivities. This could be This could be a wedding or an engagement party or a graduation or a baby shower or just happy times ahead of you. But I'm seeing you happy. Somebody wants to reconcile with you too. Yeah, but you're on guard. Okay, your your wall is up and your guard is up. You can be connected to a Sagittarius. You don't trust this person. Okay, I feel like you have to guard yourself. This person, you know, this may have been a friends with benefits or a friendship type of connection. And I feel like you guys are very guarded or you had to guard yourself. This person hurt you and bruised you so bad, you know, you don't you don't want to let them in or you don't want to let people in or this person is just not opening up. How's the four of cups here? Yeah. 
They could have been making you an offer of love or to have sex with the Ace of Wands showing up here. But I'm seeing that being rejected, okay? Somebody's missing an opportunity of this new beginning here or this brand new passionate beginning here with you. Okay, I feel like you guys are very disappointed because you saw a lot of potential within them. Yeah. This could be a baby mom or a baby dad. <clears throat> Three of Swords. Someone is definitely heartbroken. Feeling lonely. Okay, someone may be depressed. It may have been a third party situation or a separation. But this is heartbreak. This is pain. This is sorrow. I feel like somebody is a distraction. There's confusion and illusion. All these cards flipped out. I can't take all of that. You're just unhappy with this person or this situation. Three of Swords, that could be family members or friends meddling in you guys' connection. If this is, you know, someone, if this is not a third party, this could be friends and family members sticking in those in you guys' business and you guys' connection. But I feel like somebody may have been breadcrumbing you or you may have been breadcrumbing someone else. You know, maybe balancing things out between two people right here. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. Because maybe they were getting gifts or money from this person. Or attention or something like that. But I'm seeing that you've reached your limit. You withdraw your energy from this person or you're just very disappointed. Looking for the truth. Feeling abandoned. I feel like you guys are walking away and, and emotionally letting go of this person. Okay, and I do see you leaving. I see the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This is travel. This is healing, progress, moving to a place of peace of calmer waters, escaping. A lot of uh, emphasis on escaping. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'm seeing you traveling overall or running away or somebody feels like they want to run away. But I'm seeing you traveling overseas or traveling, going on a holiday travel. Or you may be traveling towards someone and you're like sneaking up on them. You could be pulling up on them very sneaky, driving very slow down their block, down their street. Or this could be someone else. Okay. Yeah, I'm also seeing um Someone has a fear of someone doing black magic, voodoo, hoodoo on them or someone has a fear of someone cheating on them. Hmm. I think this needs to be talked about. But I feel like there's a lack of communication or none at all. I feel like you're not speaking to someone like that. Or someone is not talking to you. Reverse the roles how they need be, okay? Take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to love bomb you. So they can maybe get back in your good graces. Let's see how that's going to work. Let's pull out an additional spread here for you guys. Aquarius, I'm kind of tired. So you guys, bear with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. Give me a second. All right. So this person sees you as their rock. Their person sees you as someone who loves and supports them. Or this is someone who's just holding it together. 
you know, this is a, st a solid, stable foundation that you have with this person. There is security and stability here between you and them. Okay. And I feel like they want to reconcile with you. They want to work things out because they feel like it's unfinished business between the two of you. They're not over you. But what they're going to try to do is love bomb you. Like I said, whoever this is, this could be a family member, a friend, a relative, or a lover, or someone from the past um, that's trying to love bomb you. This person just wants your attention here. And I feel like if they're sending you any messages, you feel like these are fake love messages. This person is not sincere. Or you feel like this is not a real love connection. This is just a piece of plastic. Okay? But you may be having mixed feelings about this person as well. This person may be indecisive or have conflicted feelings. But I feel like you are not really sure if you want to continue this relationship with this person. <clears throat> Because this person just got you going in circles with them. Okay? It says repeating cycles, not making any progress. This person is not learning any lessons here. And I feel like you're ready to take a risk. You're ready to take that journey into the unknown here. What else is coming in for you guys? Yeah, so I do see this person is just very emotionally unavailable. It has a closed heart. It says avoiding intimacy, emotional burdens. So I feel like this person feels burdened emotionally or they don't like showing feelings or expressing feelings. They're very closed off and blocked off emotionally unavailable here. Okay, but I'm seeing a new cycle here for you, a brand new beginning. I'm seeing the end of this cycle here between you and this person. And I'm seeing you making a fresh new start. I do feel like this love needs some time to grow here. If you guys are going to try to make this work. I do feel like that this needs time to grow. And this person, they need to learn some unexpected lessons in love. Because I feel like this person just wanted to be free. And this person wanted to be free. So you let them be free. It says, ready, not ready for commitment, independent, happy, and single. So somebody was just not ready to settle down, even though you two were a power couple or in the spotlight here, okay? I really do feel like somebody wanted to be free and they did not want to commit, okay? Yeah, this person kept their options open. And I feel like this person is going to call you. They're still interested in you. Okay, they want to make it up to you and make a romantic gesture towards you. But this person is not good for you. They're toxic and low vibrational. This is a toxic relationship. It could be the other way around. Or this is someone in your energy. It's not the right time. It says bad timing, waiting for the right time. Yeah, patience is needed. I feel like there's some unexpected changes or shocking events that's going to happen. Yeah, this is a karmic. This person is a karmic. I feel like there's a sexual relationship between you and this person or a lot of sexual chemistry. I feel like you're setting healthy boundaries. I feel like that's what's shocking. That's what they didn't see coming. I feel like you've never set healthy boundaries with this person before. I feel like you never stood up to this person before. And now you're setting these boundaries with them and they're shocked. You feel like love is blocked. But love is not blocked, okay? It says locked doors are opening, removing blockages. Love is coming. Love is coming. Okay, and because you're setting up these healthy boundaries with this person and there's blockages being removed here, I'm seeing them wanting to apologize, confess their love. They want to rebuild and mend this connection that they have with you. Like they don't want you to have that with anyone else. They want to rebuild the connection with you, if that makes any sense. I'm sorry, it's that Mercury retrograde shit. I know it's direct, but excuse me for stuttering. Yeah, lessons. It says love lessons learned, shift in perspective. But this person is just hot and cold. They send mixed signals, very inconsistent. There's a lack of clarity. They just send you a lot of mixed signals here. I feel like they're talking about you to other people. Yeah, they're watching you. They're checking your social media. They're spying on you. They're gossiping about you to other people. <laughs> I feel like they're going to take that risk and come towards you. Yeah. 
It may be risky what this person is doing. Yeah, this person was running from the connection, running from you, ignoring you. But they feel like they have been left out in the cold and they've been running because they have a scarcity mindset. But I feel like this person is going to be feeling very guilty, remorseful, and wanting to undo the damage. You're their true love. Or this person is your first love or a true love. There's unconditional love here. A long-lasting bond. Yeah, I told you, you guys are traveling and going on a vacation. Okay, it could be with a friend, a romantic partner, okay? I do see a connection coming in for you. Are you already in a connection? This could be speaking about an ex wanting to reconcile with you. But I'm seeing new love here for you guys. So there's a friend. You may be traveling and meeting a friend or a romantic partner while you're traveling, while you're taking a break, while you're going on this getaway. Okay. There is someone better for you out there. A new love interest and you're letting go of this ex and you're getting engaged. Okay, somebody is proposing marriage to you or you're proposing marriage to this new love. Yeah, marriage is in your future. Hmm. Wow. So I feel like you have a decision to make between two. And maybe that's what that two of swords is speaking of. You know, torn between two relationships. You know, needing to make a decision between two. This could be a difficult decision. Okay, you may be indecisive or at a stalemate about this um, situation or at a crossroads here. This may be a stressful decision for some of you, not all of you. Okay, but I feel like, yeah. You guys may be going for the new love. You guys may be giving this ex a second chance. But be careful because this person may not have changed their ways all the way. Because they're still love bombing you. And um, they may still be closed off and blocked off. You know, repeating the same cycles and shit. So be careful about that, okay? But I do see this outcome is really, really good. And I do feel like you guys are satisfied with the outcome of this reading. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed reading this for you guys. I love you guys so much. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings. I am so tired. In the morning, I'm going to do y'all reading and you're going to see the difference. No stuttering and I'm going to begin straight to the point. Period. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye Aquarius, I'll see y'all in the next reading.